So now we get to another complex example that we can use. So this refers to the technique of figuring out what's in parallel by marking off specific potentials, not voltages, potentials. And using the fact that any wire which is connected to another wire is going to be at the same potential as long as there's no resistors in between. So I could start at any point in the circuit and, and all of the wires here are going to have the same potential value along any of those wires. So I can come in and I could take another section of the circuit and on this section of the circuit it's at some different potential value. Again, I don't know what that potential is, I just know that all of those points have that particular potential. So if I work my way around the circuit, I start to see some interesting things show up. So when I start over here, it looks like there's just a few things, but you know, this wire connects and that one connects, and so that goes up this branch and down there, and okay, that goes all the way around here and all the way around here, all of that green wire is at the same potential value. So any resistor which has green on one side, yellow on the other side, those ones are in parallel with each other. I could continue to work with the rest of the circuit here and label those as some individual colors as well. And then finally get my last section here and all of these are at the same color. So again, anything which has the same set of colors, like green and red, and green and red, must be in parallel to each other. You're going to see this circuit again on your homework. So this is one method for analyzing this circuit or any other similar circuit where you're starting to have a hard time just looking at the geometry and figuring out what's in parallel.